Hello and welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be going through the descaling cycle of the Breville dual boiler. This is a quite long process, but I promise you, if you follow along with this video, step by step, you will be done in no time. Let's jump right in. The first thing that you need to do before even starting the descale process itself is ensure that your machine has been cooling down for at least one hour before starting. This is for your safety, as the machine needs time to cool down because we will be emptying some of the water directly from the steam and brew boilers in this process. Once your machine has cooled down for one whole hour, the next step is to press and hold the single shot button and then press the power button. This will take you into the advanced menu system. Use the arrow keys to select descale by pressing the menu button to accept. Once you hit the menu button to accept, you have now entered the descaling mode and depending on which generation of machine you have, either the manual or the one-shot button will be now illuminated. For this next step in the process, and it is something you will repeat a couple of times, you will need a cloth and a flathead screwdriver. Remove the rubber cover that is covering the descale access ports. Behind this rubber cover, there are two valves, one which empties the brew boiler and one which empties the steam boiler. Place your cloth on the grate in front of the descale access point. This will protect your hand as you open both of these valves. With your cloth in place, one by one, turn each of these valves counterclockwise until fully open. Leave both valves fully open until water or steam has stopped flowing into your drip tray. Once the water flow has subsided, close both valves again by turning clockwise this time, being very careful not to over tighten. Once both valves have been retightened, the next step will be to fill your water tank with a descaling solution. Breville sells its own branded Breville descaling solution, but you can also save some money by going with a third party. I will leave a link to the one that I use in the description below. Regardless of which route you go, fill your water tank using your descaling solution. I recommend doing this from the back of the machine, as if you use the front port, you will have to rinse this out later on. Once your water tank has been full of a descaling solution, press the illuminated button on your machine. Once this button is pressed, you will enter a 20 minute descaling mode. Wait for that to complete. Once the 20 minute descaling cycle has completed, you will now need to repeat the process of opening both valves, waiting for the water to run out, and then closing them back down. Once you have completed this process, empty out your drip tray. You will then once again press the illuminated button which will start a five minute cycle to rinse out any last remnants of descaling solution from your machine. Once that five minute cycle is completed, you will now need to rinse and refill your water tank with clean water. It is now a good opportunity to also replace the water filter in your machine. Again, you can go with the expensive Breville branded option or I will of course leave a link to a third party option in the description below. Either way, once you have a water tank which is rinsed and full of clean water, repeat one final time the process of opening the valves, waiting for the water to run, and closing them back down. Once you've completed that process with the valves one final time, you can then reinstall your rubber stopper, empty out the drip tray, and press the illuminated button to finally exit the descaling mode. If you have followed these instructions correctly, you have now successfully descaled your Breville dual boiler espresso machine. Again, I will have left links to a good descaling solution and third party water filters in the description below. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.